I know. Lian, you're only with me because you feel guilty. Your supposed feelings for me are just a farce. In truth, you feel nothing but guilt inside. Guilt for what happened six years ago. Needless to say, you did nothing wrong, Liam. But that is not how you see it. You believe it is your fault for how I ended up. That is why you stayed by my side. I am just a burden. Please, just leave me. I do not want to be the reason you ruined your life. Kizzy. She is assuming Lian's feelings come from a place of pity. What is it? Can I wink sink into Lian too? Consecutively? The battery usage is quite high. I could use a recharge. I have low power. Come on, you can spare it. Don't treat me like your allowance. Can you please? I want to know Lian's true feelings. Hmm. I suppose. I will make an exception and use the emergency backup battery. I'm sorry. Kizzy. I couldn't save you. I couldn't protect you. And because of that, you're... But that doesn't change how I feel about you. I love you, from the bottom of my heart. I don't care about appearances. I don't care what happens. You, and I, forever. Forever. Eternally. They really do care about each other. We need to tell them about how the other really feels. How? Hey, I just read both your minds, and guess what? Is that what you want to say? Not to mention, it is tactless to wedge yourself into other people's romances. This needs to be solved between them. Iba, how old are you now? I am turning 12 this year. So that's like 65 in human years. I'm not a dog. Anyway, I need to be going. Lian, thank you for today. But, please, you do not need to care about me anymore. But... Kizzy... There she goes. Unfortunate, but we are not relationship therapists. We have another job to do. Find Shoma. Looks like Shoma isn't here. Hey, Mizuki. What are you doing in the Kotatsu? Kotatsus are perfect on a cold day. They make you really sleepy. You do realize this is breaking and entering. It's fine. When I was here before, Shoma said I could just come in any time. I believe that kind of sentimentality has worn off in the modern age. Anyway, let us search. Yeah, let's look for oranges. No, the one-wheeled robot. We need to check if it was Shoma's robot that carried the corpse. I finally found it! That must be the one-wheeled robot we were looking for! It has two legs. Could it be hidden in here? It wouldn't fit. Hey! My name is Penny Ben! Nice to meet you. This thing talks? Strange name, too. Hey, Perv! Don't look! Who are you talking to? You're the one who peeked.
It's a picture of Mizuki. You? There's a picture of Ame no Uzume on display. It's said that she danced with her bare breasts swinging about to entrance Amaterasu. Aiba, you should try it. Why would I do that? Hmm. No. I guess you don't have a whole lot to swing. You don't either. All right, question time. A lion is tied up on a 10-foot chain. What is the area of grass the lion would eat? Let me think. Approximately 314 square feet. The correct answer is zero square feet. Lions don't eat grass. But Lian eats grass sometimes. What kind of little kid logic is that? It's Adder Rooster! He's the manager at the fried chicken shop that Adder works at. That is a peculiar situation. No one-wheeled robot in here. It was in here before. Hmm. We couldn't find the robot anywhere. And no other leads. Yeah, no oranges either. Who cares about the oranges? In any case, we have no time to waste. Let's head elsewhere. But it's so cold outside. You're the one who picked that outfit. <sighs> Let's get going. Any day now. Oh, Mame? Mizuki, what are you doing here? Have you seen Shoma? No, I haven't seen him here. What about you, Guinea? I haven't seen him recently. I see. You might say there's an elephant in the room. Wow, that was remarkably unfunny. Hey, Iba, can you do that thing? <sighs> Fine, but just once, okay? Mm hmm. Hello, I'm Drum Imon. I see. What's with that weak reaction? Miss Yay! Go! Mizuki! Look! It's a Hispella Testacea! A Hispella Testacea!
Yeah, please do. You haven't been in a while. Sorry, I've been busy with work. Mame has been inviting me, but actually, you were the one who introduced me to this place, right, Mame? Yeah. Was it six years ago? I remember when I ate Genny's food for the first time, I was shocked by how good it was. It was the first time I felt that way since eating Ota's food. Mizuki, don't talk about Ota here. Why not? He's a rival. Last night? I was here last night. The only person I saw was a drunk, passed out Ryuki. What were you doing leaving your place unattended? I think that was when I went to the convenience store to get some miso. I have tons of regulars. Sometimes I have them watch the place for me. I see. Ryuki was saying something about traveling to the mirror world, so I thought something happened. Sounds like something a drunkard would say to me. The customer next to Ryuki was saying some weird things, too. When that king over there awakens, I'm going to disappear like a candle. I'm not real, I'm just something that shows up in the king's dream. That sounds like a reference to Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There by Lewis Carroll. The story deals with themes of not being able to tell reality from illusion, mirror worlds and the like. A customer ran off spouting that gibberish. I had to run after him to get him to pay for the food. I thought you said you trusted your customers. That guy wasn't a regular. When I grabbed him and got back, Yuki was gone. Huh. I thought you said you went to go buy miso. Oh, that's right. I guess I went to the convenience store before that. I guess yesterday was pretty hectic, huh? Yeah. Sorry, I haven't the slightest idea. He hasn't been here, and I haven't talked to him at all. He didn't do something wrong, did he? If you don't know, don't worry about it. I'm not feeling well, but I'm just tired. Don't worry. You should go home and rest. That's what I said. Thank you for your concern. But I'd rather rest here. I don't want to be alone. Yeah, a little bit. Have you heard about the disappearances that have been happening lately? I know it's just a rumor, but people going missing after watching a ViewCube video. It's the same as the urban legend from six years ago. But it's different this time. I think it's actually happening. I was able to find the video. Do you want to watch it? <clears throat> not right now. Now's not the time. I'm getting a feeling that this is connected to something bigger. Something bigger? Like what? Nirvana Initiative. What? It's just something I saw online. Some kind of terrorist attack or something being planned. What do you think, Aiba? There are rumors to that effect, but nothing concrete. I do not have enough data to make a determination yet. Anyway, that's what's got me scared. It's kinda creepy. Hmm. No. Why do you ask? I wanted to ask him something. Did something happen? I saw in the news that a corpse was found at the stadium. Something related to that? Actually, yeah. Well, because... Uh, I guess I didn't need to ask. You come here a lot, Mame. Yeah, it's calming being here. I would have preferred you said you liked the food. Of course I like the food too, but I like the atmosphere and how you fit right in, Genny. It's really calming. It's my favorite place. Come to think of it, you come here to quiz me an awful lot, and sometimes you leave without even eating anything. Well, you're the only one that likes my quizzes, Genny. When I ask Mizuki, she gets this look on her face. <laughs> Why do you not like quizzes? Mommy's questions are really niche. Do they bother you, Genny? As long as it doesn't get in the way of work, I don't mind. It's nice seeing you two together. You're almost like father and daughter. <laughs> I guess Amame is like my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it just reminded me of my dad. Right, your parents. They divorced when I was little, so I've been separated from my dad. I really liked him, so I was really sad. You really like your dad, huh? Yeah, he's the best. I'm 
heading home now. Mame, you really don't look too good. Want me to take you to the hospital? It's okay. I just need some rest. Mame, you can rest in the back if you want. Yeah. I might do just that. Mame, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Guess we'll take her word for it. Mizuki, we're in the middle of an investigation. We should leave this to Gen. Okay. Genny, please take care of Mame. Yeah, no problem. Shoma? I haven't seen him. What about you, Ota? No, I haven't seen him either. Shoma always comes in alone. And he usually leaves without saying anything. I see. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? If he did, it wouldn't be good. Video? Hey, Mizuki, isn't that your chair? Hey, Ota, do you have life insurance? Hey, Ota, what's Ota's black sauce? It's our house special soy sauce. Hmm, I am much bigger. You mean your attitude? No. Ota, what's chef's bloody salad? Oh, it's this dish I make by wrapping myself up in barbed wire. How is this place still open? One would hope it at least tastes good. Meow! Oh, I get it. If you meow at a lucky cat statue, happiness will come your way. It sure helped me be happy. A calendar and me and Tessa. What do they have in common? They both have dates. <laughs> oh no! Tessa, maybe if you wanted to change the overhead lights. Why would I want to do that? Mizuki, the gray aliens have a morning stretch routine video. Wanna watch? Oh, I saw that earlier. I think I'll pass. Mizuki, look! A round chair. Yeah. Tessa? When are you going to slap my bucket? Oh, never! Eggplant, eggplant, I love eggplant, I love eggplant, Mapo, Mapo, I love Mapo tofu. I've been busy. I haven't had a chance to cut it. You're really busy, huh? Want me to cut it? Snip, 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 snip. How long is this gonna take? Really? You'll cut my hair? Hmm. Well, I think I'll save that experience for later. I want to grow it out longer so I have as much haircut time with Tessa as humanly possible. 
longer hair does not take longer to cut. Ota, if you're gonna head this restaurant, you should care more about how you look. Hey, that's actually what Gen from Brahmin said too. But it's not like spending more time on my appearance is gonna make my food taste better. Besides, I get plenty of customers. Well, yeah, with my cooking skills, that's to be expected. I think history will call me the chef blessed by the culinary gods. Okay, but the only customer here is Iris, though. Because I'm on break. Didn't you see the sign? During regular business hours, I don't have time for breaks. Ota is not exactly exaggerating. Matsushita Diner offers affordable, tasty food. Queues often form out the door. So it actually gets pretty crowded, huh? Yeah, and I welcome the challenge. I don't want to lose to Gen. Why are you two competing anyway? He talks about me like some kind of mortal enemy or something. I hear him talking trash about me. He says I'm not dedicated to my cooking, not determined to be the best. But I want to prove to him that I'm better, and I do it my way. Just you watch. I'm gonna make Matsushita Diner super popular. I'll have three Michelin stars one day. You think so? I have been making some progress lately. I've gained a lot of life experience. I'm a refined adult now. I don't know about experience, but you did change up your look. If there was a contest for adults who don't look or act their age, you'd do well. So you're saying I look really young. That's a compliment. Young? Don't you mean more like childish? Oh, stop, Tessa. You're embarrassing me. She means that I'm as cute and pure as a child in the prime of their youth. I don't think that's what she meant. I suppose his positive thinking is what allows him to retain his youth. Of course. I'm still Tessa's number one fan, after all. It's my duty to support her. I name search her on Twitter and defend her to anyone talking trash. I even use multiple accounts so she can rise to the top of trending. I am devoted. Day and night. Thank you for everything you do, Ota. Iris, you really shouldn't be adding more fuel to the fire here. Fire! Hot Pot Tessa! Shipping! Freight Crate Tessa! Airplanes! Hide Flight Tessa! It's the brand new star of the net world, Tessa! Also known as ASAT! You bet! <laughs> Mizuki, do you know about the video uploaded to ViewCube? Mame told me there was some rumor about a video making people vanish after they watch it. That's the one. Do you think Shoma saw that video too? He could have. Because it was Shoma who solved the BATS 490 code six years ago. Is there a code hidden in the new video, too? Yeah, a much tougher one than the last. I've been trying to figure it out, but I've got nothing. I've been thinking about how and why exactly the people who watch the video end up missing. My guess is the people who solve it end up mind-controlled, like Project Bluebeam or MKUltra. It's a project by NASA that projects lasers and holograms into the atmosphere. They say it's for investigating the atmosphere and ionosphere, but in reality, it's a scheme to take over the world. The idea is they can project images of aliens, UFOs, God, anything they want. It tricks the people of Earth into thinking the planet is being invaded or something. That way, they can unite the world under the false pretense of fighting back against a foreign threat. It gets the people of the world to abandon their allegiances to religion or any one nation, and instead unify under a new world order. So this video is kind of the same idea. Project an image into your mind that makes you think a certain way. MKUltra is the codename for a top secret project that the CIA was running that tested different kinds of mind control. Their so-called experiments were inhumane, even torturous, all to try to prove mind control exists. They forced unsuspecting patients to take LSD, and did electroshock therapy, hypnosis, and the results of their experiments were all destroyed. So no one knows anything for sure. Ota, you know about the video, right? 
I hope Shoma is okay. Anyway, don't watch that video again. Consider it an order from the president of Lemnisgate. If those rumors are true, it could be dangerous. Understand? Yes, ma'am. You think she really understands? I do not believe there is any point in asking. <laughs> Thank you! You're a super popular internet idol at Lemnisgate. Oh no, I'm not really that big a deal. Not to mention there's a ton of new talent. If I take my eyes off my dream for even one second, they'll pass me by. It's pretty cool that you haven't let fame get to you. And you're still serious about chasing your dream, Iris. Well, things are different now. I'm not a teenager. I can't rely on my youth or make cringy comments anymore. I need to work hard and prepare for the winter. Like the ant and the grasshopper. I've got to leave my mark on the net world. I really want to chug jug with you. I would classify that as cringe. <laughs> Don't worry, Iris. It's part of your charm. Iva, can you show me the video? I have already found it. It is posted to ViewCube under the name Nirvana Trial. Nirvana? Can you play it? At once. I didn't get anything from that. But there is a high likelihood that this is related to the HB case. Did you notice the similarities? The code that Shoma decoded, BATS 490, and the QR video. Yes, the video from six years ago linked to Jin Furway from our investigation. It can't just be a coincidence. The rumors about the missing people must have something to do with the HB case for sure. Yes. We do not know for certain if Shoma saw the Nirvana trial video, but it is all the more reason to find him as soon as possible. Hey, Mizuki. Are you okay? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. You were pretty spaced out there for a while. I'm fine. I'm gonna head out and look for Shoma. Let me know if you find anything. Yeah! Got it. Six years ago... From Divida? Yeah, do you remember? That's not something I can just... forget. I saw half a body appear out of nowhere. I saw it explode and... Why are you asking me about it now? Well... Here's the thing. It must have teleported! It got stuck in another dimension and half the body got sucked in! The body got sliced in half, then time traveled six years to now. Jeez, bodies cut in half, blowing up, showing up out of nowhere? How do you explain it if it's not paranormal? If I may, the questions of how the body appeared and how it detonated were answered by subsequent investigation. The carbon nanotubes and a thermite reaction. Right, but that doesn't explain how the other half of the body showed up. That strange occurrence can't be explained by science alone. What I think happened is... something like the Bermuda Triangle manifested here. On the east coast of North America, in the Atlantic Ocean, there's a spot called the Bermuda Triangle. Tons of ships and planes and stuff have vanished without a trace there. There's a bunch of theories, but no one can really explain the how and why. Some people think it's a miniature black hole, 
Others think aliens abducted them. There's even one story about a corpse that was found in the area. He died 64 years ago, but the body didn't age a day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, given Iris's enthusiasm for the topic, but the Bermuda Triangle is an urban legend. The kind of examples she mentioned are usually misunderstandings, exaggerations, or completely fabricated. In other words, the mysterious aspects of the Bermuda Triangle are entirely man-made. According to calculations, the probability of a vessel going missing in that area is no different than any other place. I don't want to spoil her fun. I'm not going to tell her. Sorry to bother you at work. You're Jin Furoe's... Yes. I was his nurse when Jenny was here. I call him Jenny because he was still in his late teens when he was here. Of course, he grew up. He was a very important man, but to me, he's still that little kid. Mizuki, don't push her onto that. What? Oh, sorry. Old habits. Look, a UFO! Right, sure. I've had enough with marriages. It's really a hassle to build up a relationship. I'm too busy, and I'm almost 40. Wow, she looks nothing close to 40. She does look young for her age. My name is Hana Yonasu. Hmm, I don't know. I'm bad at remembering things. They call me an airhead, even though I'm a lifesaver. I can get them in in the tightest spots. The needle? No, I'm talking about cars. You're talking about parking? I remember Jenny well. I heard he was born kind of frail, and he'd been in and out of the hospital since he was young. You heard? Yes. As I said earlier, I was only his nurse when he was in his late teens. What kind of illness did he have? It was a visceral disease. Though by the time he passed, he was completely cured. I cannot search anything on Jin's illness. Those records have been completely wiped. I never thought he'd get so big. When I first saw him in the magazines, me and some older nurses that knew him were really surprised. When he was a kid, he was shy and really timid. He couldn't even use the restroom alone at night. He was so soft-spoken. I never thought he'd become so successful and become the president at a big company. But he was killed. That's about it, though. I haven't seen him since he left the hospital. Anything you noticed about him seeing him from afar? Well, let's see. He'd really changed. Did he almost look like a different person? Are you suspecting a change in identity? Yeah, we can cross off twin or clone, but maybe he was replaced by someone else. No, I'm sure it was him. I only saw him in pictures and read about him, but he was a neat freak. Very meticulous. I could sense it in his words. I'm positive it was him. Ryuki, what are you doing here? Oh, Mizuki. Isn't it obvious? I'm here for the reinvestigation. Reinvestigation?
determine anything from him when he is in this state. The investigation has only just begun. I need to keep my eyes wide open. I need to see the pieces. Lost beyond time. This is my case. But, Ryuki, you're... Hold on, Mizuki. Ryuki is not well. He is traumatized. But in these circumstances, it is better to not push back against things he says. You may inadvertently make his condition worse by denying his delusions. Really? Yes. It is common practice for patients in Ryuki's condition. Okay, Ryuki. Just don't do too much, okay? Okay? Yeah, you look tired. You should go home and rest. I don't have time to rest. I need to find the culprit. Besides, I had Tama tie me up tortoise shell bondage style earlier, so I'm feeling good. Uh, yeah, you should definitely just head home. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! <sighs> Half for all! We are full-time heroes! I can do anything. I'm like a superhero. I won't lose to the bad guys, and if anyone gets in my way... Let it be. He is not capable of participating in normal conversation. He's especially bad today. Oh, I know. The shrine. Ikume Shrine. I'll go there. It'll help me calm down. There he goes. There is nothing we can do for him. It is best to let him be. Ryuki was traumatized by the events six years ago, and has been hurting ever since. He tried to return to work, but his symptoms worsened. Yeah, he's supposed to be on leave of absence to get better, but... His symptoms have not improved. Anyway, there are no leads here. Let's get going. Maybe the video really did make him go missing. Mizuki, you have a call. I will connect you. Hey, Mizuki. I remembered something about Shoma. There's this place I hear he's been going to a lot. Horidori Institute of Genetics. Huh? What's he going there for? I haven't asked. Horidori Institute? I don't know why. But I guess he might be there. Thanks, Ken. I'll head over there. Be careful. Never seen that kid here. There it is. His temperature is rising. He is lying. Well, we made it inside at least. But where's Shoma? Mizuki, I must protest against you doing anything rash. Boss will never let you hear the end of this. What are you talking about? You punched the security guard unconscious to get him out of the way. I didn't punch him. It was more of a kick. Same difference. Well, sorry, I'm not very good at covert ops, okay? Anyway, 
I got this weird feeling. My gut is telling me that Choma is caught up in some bizarre science experiment. Your gut is not a reliable source of information. This facility goes deeper. Shall we go? Of course. I can't go back now. Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? Crap, they saw me. You need to be more careful. Intruder, we're going to police. Yeah, the police are right here. In your dreams, girl. Let's get her. Yeah. Mizuki. Well, if I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Mizuki, do not use your full power. We are in the wrong here, you know. Yeah, yeah, got it. Settles that. Be on your guard. More are coming. There! There's the intruder! Damn! That was fast. But superior numbers aren't gonna do them any good. Uh, okay, maybe they will. That's the last of them. That was dangerous. Thank you. Wait, what are you doing here? And why did you help me? Should I not have? You know that's not what I mean. Why are you here? I don't follow. You shot at me yesterday. That was yesterday. Today is today. What? Anyway, do you hear that? Hear what? What? Um... What is going on here? We should be far enough away now. Indeed. I do not sense any pursuers nearby. Now, you two, let's talk. Concerned about what happened at the Institute earlier? Don't worry about it. They won't report it. Why not? For two reasons. First, the weapons they had are illegal. If those firearms are discovered, that could cause the facilities to be closed. What's the other reason? They are doing some questionable research. They wouldn't want the police anywhere near. I see. Whew. I'm glad, though. It seems you are safe this time. If Boss found out, she may have cut you in half herself. I was investigating. Investigating? Are you some kind of detective or something? Yes. Something like that. You know about the gene therapy research they're doing there, don't you? Yeah. I don't totally understand it, but it's something about rewriting DNA, right? I heard that they're doing illegal things there. I wanted to know about the dark side of the research myself. So that is why I'm investigating them. I want to know who did this to me. Did what to you? 
fine. If you don't want to give me the details, at least tell me this. They're doing shady things in there, and you want to find out what, right? That's right. I can't talk about it. Why not? It's top secret. Top secret? But it could have something to do with my investigation. I wouldn't know. Hey, Iba, can we sink into her? I wouldn't even try. There is no way you would get Boss's permission. <sighs> but I can tell you this. It's about Tokiko Shigure. Tokiko Shigure? The president of Nai's? That's right. The president of Horidori Institute, Chikara, was a senior member of Nai's. 37 years ago, when Tokiko was 23, she became pregnant with his child. What? Chikara didn't want anything to do with it. He already had a wife and child. He demanded she get an abortion, but she refused. She gave birth to the child. At the time, she had no immediate family and no money. Chikara was terrified. He was worried that the child might grow up to resent him and threaten him with blackmail. So he came up with a plan to have them adopted to one of his friends. To persuade Tokiko, he promised her prestige and power at Nai's. That she would one day be president. Through tears, Tokiko reluctantly accepted and let the child go. Tokiko lost her child. But she did become a powerful member of Nai's. Ultimately, she became the president of the Japan branch. You're saying they could be terror? That's not possible. Why not? They've already passed. Really? It is a certainty. I felt like it. Who just feels like shooting at a high school girl? I don't think the high school part is relevant. I almost died. No, that would be impossible. I shot you with rubber bullets. You didn't notice? You mean... I had no intention of killing you. Then why did you shoot me? Just... trust me. I'm not your enemy. Why? I want to see your face. I refuse. You want me to trust you? Then show me your face. Sorry, I don't have my makeup on right now. Ugh. And I have a big pimple on my nose as well. It's embarrassing. Then I'll just force you to take it off. Don't bother trying. This mask is secured in place by an extremely powerful special adhesive developed by NASA. If you tried, it would rip my skin off. Or did you want to see my facial muscles? If that's the case, then I won't stop you. Okay, I lied. I would stop you. So does that mean you're gonna wear that mask forever? No. I'll take it off if I need to. The mask will come off if I apply the remover. There are certain kinds of glue that require a special chemical to remove. The bond may also deteriorate naturally over time. You must be really strong. You seem pretty handy with a gun. So who are you? Don't try to find out. How could I not? You're one of the most suspicious people I've ever seen. You're on the list of suspects. That's a mistake. I'm not a suspect. We'll see. That's for me to decide. And one more thing. I'm not strong. I don't have a strong body. I have? I'm the same as ever. No, something's been off about you since lunch today. Does it have anything to do with why you were at Horadori Institute? Horadori Institute is funded by my father. You are aware of that fact, correct? Yeah. I came to confirm something. I thought I could use my name to give me some authority. What did you want to know? <sighs> Not gonna tell me, huh? 
What were you doing there, Big Sis? I'm looking for Shoma. I heard that he's been seen there a lot recently. Shoma? Well, he is definitely not there. Huh? How do you know? He contacted me on Nile on the way here. Shoma is in the mountains of Nagano. He's gone camping, alone. That is what his Nile message said. He sent that message to myself, Mame, and you as well. Oh, what? Uh, you're right. He's coming back on his motorbike today. Shoma is 18 now, old enough to ride a motorcycle. You make it sound as though you're older, but you two are the same age. Iba, can you check if he's really camping? On it. Hmm, he's not lying. He has been at the campgrounds the last few days. He was spotted on surveillance cameras in various locations. For the past few days, huh? At the very least, that does provide him an alibi in the Jin Furaway case. But even then, it is still the most likely possibility that his robot carried the body. Do you think someone used Shoma's robot without his permission? Anyone could do it. The Enda house has no security. Anyone could get in or out. I guess we don't need to look for Shoma anymore. The Fountain. The park is one of my favorite places. I am certain that is why Leon brought me here so many times. For the past six years, whenever he saw that I looked bored, he would bring me here and try to make me laugh. He would trip into the fountain on purpose, sometimes even pretending to drown. Honestly, none of it was funny, but before I knew it, I fell in love with this park even more. That's enough for now. I'm going to get going. Fine, but don't get in my way again. I won't get in your way. I'll only do what I need to do. Yeah, okay. Oh, and one more thing? Earlier when you... Thanks for saving me. Hm. You don't need to thank me for that. And one more thing for me, too. If you plan on continuing your investigation, there are two important things to consider. First, whatever happens, don't lose sight of yourself. Even if someone you trust betrays you. And the other thing? Ryuki. Be wary of him. What? See you around. Wait! What do you mean by that? Jeez. Taking off right after dropping that bombshell? She is right in that Ryuki isn't quite himself right now, but... Wait. How does she even know about Ryuki? Unknown. Thank you.